Good morning to our audience. I am Rishik, and I am alongside Sri Sai and Likit. And today we'll be presenting on behalf of our team on the pharmaceutical industry as part of our career guidance project in our leadership program. The pharmaceutical industry is defined as a discovery or development and manufacture of drugs and medications. It's widespread, including research of chemicals and the regulation and involvement of government agencies. All these lotions, vaccines, and medicines we use contain pharmaceutical and chemicals and research. Today, we will be talking about this industry in detail and specifically about Dr. Reddy's labs. Every discipline of study has its own beginnings and evolution over time. The modern industry began with local apothecaries and changed from the traditional role of dispensing quinine and morphine, which are botanical drugs. Intentional drug discovery began from applied research from plants. The industri industrialization of pharmaceuticals brought more te technical sophistication. A notable dis discovery, which we all know, was of Alexander Fleming, who discovered penicillin, the first antibiotic. Why is the pharmaceutical industry so important? So, um, the pharmaceutical industry is the reason for the widespread access of medicinal products. The industry provides medicine to combat the sickness that affect patients. This industry is the supply of all medication that is required in health treatment. When a patient needs treatment, they're offered prescriptions from a medical practitioner for medicine. This medicine is applied through the pharmaceutical industry. But to put this in, to put, put this in a brief form, there are seven points about why the pharmaceutical industry is very important. First, treatments increase life expectancy. The industry also strives to eradicate and eliminate diseases. It reduces pain and suffering. The vaccines help save money. Hospital stays are shorter. The industry, employ the industry employs millions of people. It increases, em increases employment rates. And uh, pharmaceutical companies help, help boost the growth boost the global economy. Yeah, so the pharmaceutical industry is important because it's connected to our everyday life. As I said, uh, um, they are the major suppliers of the medications which we need for uh, our everyday ailments. Over to Likit. Um, I think my even my opinion is uh, the same as they both. Um, pharma industry, it, it is like, we just can't uh, um, live without it. Like every product we use, uh, it is depending on. So it is important that, you know, um, we have to know about the pharma, pharma industries and what's happening around us. So um, let's talk a bit about the founder of Dr. Reddy's. His name is Ankalam Anji Reddy. And um, uh, Dr. Reddy has started his generic business in India in 1986. And today, it is a trusted healthcare industry which serves the needs of millions of patients with high quality, affordable, and innovative across um, therapy areas. Um, their team has 5,000 members, which is a strong team and a network which connects with more than 3 lakh doctors to ensure that quality medicines are available for patients all over the world. The Purple Health Initiative in India aims at taking care of patients beyond the pill, focusing their efforts in the four areas which are as follows. Um, disease awareness and convenient diagnosis, access to medicines, and better therapy experience, adherence to therapy. So then um, this is a perspective of our group, the importance and impact. So then let's talk about a case of, di uh, of diabetes. Um, many people throughout the world do, um, do not have access to good health because they can't afford expensive medicines, doctor readies, generic formulations, business addresses this urgent need by offering more than 200 high quality generic versions of expensive innovative medicines at a fraction of the cost in 80 countries of the world. Next slide. India is facing a diabetes epidemic with 67 million people unconfirmed with diabetes. 
and another 30 million in the pre uh, in the pre diabetes group by 2030 it is estimated that india will have the largest number of diabetes patients in the world moreover diabetes often comes with other issues including hypertension and high, high cholesterol treatment usually requires a medication and a lot of daily care by the patient but what happens when the prevailing medicine itself is an issue M metformin is a first in line medicine for the treatment of patients suffering from type 2 diabetes this pill is as big as a bullet and hence uncomfortable to swallow on a survey the findings of dr reddy's were as astonishing not only were some uh, uh, wholly um, i'm skipping the medicine together but a large number were breaking the pill in half to get it down more easily this is not advisable as it might have affected the medicines of dissolution pack patients were trying to fit the pill around their own needs because no one was offering another option walking together do on the doctor and dr reddy's uh, institutions have made a new medicine met a met small was born a small version of metformin the pill worked with the patient putting their needs and comfort um, right at the center patients found it easier to take and thus manage their um, disease effectively on a daily basis Re reassuring their family and the doctors who who could now and confidently a prescribe a drug and they knew their patients would take so now i'll be speaking about the indian pharma industry the pharmaceutical industry in india is 40 billion us dollars by value the world's third largest by overall volume and the world's largest as provider of generic medicines globally india exports Forty thousand dollars worth of pharmaceuticals every minute. It is home to more than three thousand pharma companies with a strong network of over ten thousand five hundred manufacturing facilities. The pharmaceutical industry growth rate in India is ten to twelve percent. As we all know, Hyderabad is home to Dr. Reddy's, along with Aurobindo Pharma and Shanta Biotech. We can see companies like Novartis near the high-tech city area. Bajpali is also referred to as the pharmaceutical hub of Hyderabad as it houses R&D centers of top global pharma manufacturers including Dr Reddy's lab Aurobindo Pharma and SMS Pharma so uh, 10 largest companies in india are uh, sun pharma uh, dr reddy's laboratories and uh, aurobindo pharma these are few names which are uh, the largest uh, pharma companies in india So now we come to the next section, career pathways. Over to Sri Sai. There are some pretty high-paying jobs in this industry. First, a biostatistician. A biostatistician conducts studies and collects public health data. They can evaluate the data they collect to predict how biological situations may develop. Average salary. Salary in Indian rupees per year, four point five lakhs. A biotechnology consultant. Biotechnology consultants are individuals who are experts in biology and technology. They help. They provide guidance and advice to managers at biotechnology organizations on how to develop improved medicines and med medical devices. Average salary in Indian rupees, seventy thousand per month. a pharmacy manager a pharmacy manager provides leadership and organization for the pharmacy they manage they consult with patients train pharmacists and technici technicians and schedule medicine deliveries average salary in indian rupees 4 lakhs per year a research scientist pharmaceutical research scientists perform experiments with the purpose of refining discovering or creating new medicines to be successful in this role research scientists must must have attention to detail and comprehensive knowledge of biology and chemistry average average salary in indian rupees on an average 7 7 lakhs per year so there are a huge number of professions and specializations which we can choose from in the pharmaceutical industry these jobs are segregated into manufacturing analysis and formulation quality control and quality assurance marketing and sales human resources and administration and consultation there are also regulatory and patenting departments in clinical pharmacy 
there are many specializations under clinical pharmacy so there are many technical and soft skills required such as negotiation and persuasive skills time and personal management quick adaptation record keeping and sharp observation so here are some uh, roles which we can take up in the pharmaceutical industry and here are some soft skill soft skills management skills communication skills and other skills which are necessary and uh, important for excelling in this industry coming to educational streams we start with taking either biology chemistry and physics or math chemistry and physics and we can do diplomas in various pharmaceutical specializations such as uh, pharmaceutical management veterinary pharmacy and chemistry followed by 3 to 4 years of bachelor degrees in topics such as pharmaceutics then we can take up a job or also do a degree in management which will come in handy master degrees are typically for higher education and are very helpful in your resumes here are some m pharmacy uh, specializations finally you can get doctorates if you are a research oriented person we interviewed two people in our circles the first person was mr pawan kumar nishankar rao the vice president in business development in pharma api marketing and controlling the uh, regulatory markets in us and europe so he has 18 years of experience and is currently working in metrochem api private limited and then um, we interviewed kirtana bujimalla so uh, she has studied b pharmacy and has started her m pharmacy so we understood about api how the market works and we also learned that india exports cancer drugs to bangladesh and api material to russia we learned about the different options and how we can go about pharma education in the second interview so these are some of the questions we asked like the core competencies which are required for this profession um their journeys in this profession what they have learned uh, in their education uh, and what they like about this career so you can find our uh, interview links in the description so we'll go ahead to the next part which is projecting the future so the pharma industry is changing rapidly um before uh, there is an old method of writing down uh, information in uh, notepads and the record books but now we have digitalization coming up and then it's not true that the industry has been stagnant because uh, there is a lot of robotics coming into play as well and uh, technology is uh, improving day by day automation and uh, ai and robotics are very important because they are going to revolutionize the pharma industry in upcoming years and the global revenue of the market is going to increase year by year so there here is a graph from um, mckinsey and company about uh, how frontline employees are feeling optimistic about the future and then um, these are some of the uh, skills which uh, employees identify that they need in the social and emotional group so overall some factors affecting the transformation of the industry are culture in pharma organizations politics in the pharma industry working methods online marketing within the pharma sector and sustainability in the pharmaceutical industry so we have done an activity called as a as a time machine exercise from um, sri sai could you take over um based on the research and interviews let's imagine two new job roles which will come up in this industry which currently do not exist what what would be the skills personality traits and strengths required for these job roles additionally what would one need to study or be certified in to work in these new job roles let's find out so um future jobs needed which will clear genetic problems so we will need a person who researches develops 
genetic medicines to cure diabetes in the DNA itself. And we'll need a person who researches about developing medicines from natural resources for, to the current diseases. Although these uh, um, jobs might sound uh, um, really imaginative and futuristic, we don't know if these are uh, possible or not. And this is uh, our attempt to, um, to visualize the future. So um, overall, the pharmaceutical industry is very important and it will have, it'll have a lasting impact on the economy for years to come. So we hope that, we hope that this, we hope that people could, ah, damn it, I messed up. I messed up, I messed Just up, speak. sorry. I messed up. Stop the recording. Stop the recording.